Hi, I'm Mike the Healy Gut Guy, and I often get asked, what is the most important food to avoid when trying to heal your gut? I get asked this question a lot, and it's actually a very important question, so stay to the end of this video, and I will explain to you what that number one food to avoid is and the concepts you need to understand to heal your gut. Uh, I've seen people literally put on 20 pounds in four weeks just understanding uh, which foods to avoid and you know how to think about this and, I, and and so what I'm about to tell you like what food should should you avoid I I there really isn't any food I I want to you guys to avoid I want us to let go of these diets think about I want you to go back like what are your your foods that you have the biggest vendetta against what foods are you scared the most of? Is it baby food? Are you scared of baby food? Are you are you afraid of milk? Are you afraid of gluten? The, these two foods that Jesus said you can eat with with uh, no problems. Hmm? Yes, I agree that it shouldn't be doused in glyphosate and all that fun stuff. But if you look at the average person, they eat these foods with no absolutely no problems. When did you decide that you are gluten intolerant? When did you decide that you're lactose intolerant, the easiest sugar to digest in the world? When did you decide that you were intolerant to these things? Now, the way that our symptoms come about for the first time with, with something like Crohn's colitis is it's after resolving uh, something we call in German New Medicine uh, an indigestible morsel, something you just cannot accept. You can't digest it. You can't make sense of it. I can't believe my neighbor cut down my cherry tree without my permission. Why would he do? Why would he think that's okay? I just don't get that. Why won't my mom and my dad let me go to my friend's house? I, I, I don't, I can't get that. I don't understand it. And the, and what your body does, what your brain, your psyche does to help you digest this indigestible situation is it helps you build, it, you're, you're building extra gut cells. And then when it gets resolved, your, your neighbor buys you a new tree or a tree or your, your parents let you go to your friend's house or whatever for a sleepover. When it gets resolved, that's when the program switches and we need to get rid of these extra gut cells and we get that diarrhea. And when we get that diarrhea, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna blame dairy. That's usually the first food everyone blames. And then next, and then and then what that happens is your psyche becomes afraid of dairy. It associates it with your indigestible morsel program. And if you guys, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, go to my YouTube channel page and I have tons of videos on German New Medicine. And, and essentially what German New Medicine is, the best way to describe it is that all of our organs, all of our tissues, they were designed, they were developed for a very specific survival purpose. So when we experience a stressful situation, it puts one of these organs in overdrive to help us overcome the stressful situation. That's what's going on. Disease does not start in the gut. Disease starts in the psyche, in our thoughts. All of you with these digestive issues, you are going to have a ring-shaped formation. You're going to have, uh, I'll be able to see it in your CT scans. If we were to do a CT scan of your brain, uh, you, you would see it right right in, in the brainstem. So, uh, yeah, that's how these food tracks get started. First, you're going to blame dairy because every, that's, it's just what our society does. I, I don't know why the easiest to digest food in the world gets blamed first. It's pretty stupid if you ask me. Then gluten gets blamed, which is a little bit more understandable because of the dumb things they do to bread nowadays. But again, people should be should be able to digest this. No problem whatsoever. When people get over their food phobias, they get better. Now, what what are some foods that I would I would recommend people to stay away from? Things like candy that has very little nutritional value. Things uh, like super hot spicy foods. Uh, another thing I would stay away from is coffee. Uh, coffee is a a stimulant, which kind of, it, we we need to help you relax and stay in the vagatonic state to help promote the healing process. And it's also a diuretic, so uh, not going to help out with the diarrhea there. So 
this is what I want you to do. I want you to start telling yourself, I am not allergic to energy and nutrients. Milk is good for me. Uh, wheat is good for me. It's called the staff of life. And I, and I want you, you know, if, if you're really scared about this, you know, one food at a time, just shower it with good emotions. I love milk. It is tasty. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you do raw milk, you know, organic milk, whatever makes you feel safe. Um, but remember, the truth of the matter is most people drink pasteurized milk of low quality and they have absolutely no digestive, no digestive issues, none. Why do you get digestive issues and that person doesn't? It is in the psyche and we'll see it in our brain scans. Those people eating normal foods, they they will not have uh, the, the, the Hammer focuses the lesions in their brain where their intestines control, but you do. And the, those lesions will never heal. These programs will never shut off until you let go of these food tracks. You let go of your food phobias. You can sing and dance while you eat because right now what you're doing is you're super scared of every single food. And it's, it's just, and then and your body's going to reject it. So enjoy normal foods again. Start slow if you're scared, but it is not food. I've been doing this for way too long. It is not food. I've seen too many people suffer on boring, bland diets. I saw a vegan couple the other day and, oh God, um, if I would have farted, the guy would have fell out of his seat. He was so skinny. You can get better. I've seen many people get better. So uh, go down below and leave a comment if you have any questions on how to get rid of your food tracks. But the number one food I'd probably avoid is probably candy and coffee. Those are those are probably my two food, foods I'd have you guys avoid. But again, we, we, we are trying. We're not. We don't want to demonize foods. So. That's all I got for you guys. Leave a comment, hit the like button, uh, share it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.